Hello interwebs. I recently put together a short video where I compared different octane ratings in my Porsche. And as part of that, I thought it would be a good idea to explain a couple fundamentals. So today we're going to be talking about compression ratio, pre-ignition, engine knock, and engine timing. All of these things are closely interrelated and they work together to determine the performance of your vehicle. I made a really simple graphic of a cylinder. And to be clear, this is super simplified. It's not showing the four strokes and cycles and anything like that. It's just showing combustion and that's it. So um, don't get too thrown off by that. Let's start with engine compression. So looking at this cylinder, it's pretty easy to understand what compression ratio is. If the entire cylinder has a volume of 11, and then when it's squeezed down to its smallest, it has a volume of just one, that's a compression ratio of 11 to 1. Many high performance vehicles either have a high compression ratio or increasingly a turbo or supercharger. Both high compression ratios and turbochargers work the same way. They increase the pressure within the cylinder, which gives you more power and more efficiency out of each liter. Of course, increasing the pressure within a cylinder whether it's through a supercharger that compacts air into it or by a high compression ratio causes some problems. If you look at this illustration, as the piston goes up, the spark plug fires and it causes a nice even flame wall indicated by that orange circle to fill the chamber. Now, when that flame wall expands into the cylinder, it greatly increases the pressure. So you have the cylinder squeezing the gas up at the same time that the ignition of the gas is also increasing the pressure. And if you do this right, both of those things reach their peak a little bit after the piston reaches the top of the cylinder. This means that you have all that peak pressure forcing the piston down on its power stroke. So because it takes a little while for that flame to burn, the spark plug has to fire before the piston reaches the top of the cylinder. And that gives it time to expand and reach its peak when the piston is at the top of the cylinder. Now that time that it takes between firing and the top of the cylinder, that's the ignition timing. And you want your ignition timing suitably advanced so that it fires early enough that the flames reach their peak at the top. However, if you have lower octane gas, a problem can happen. Lower octane gas actually burns easier. So as it gets compressed by the piston, the flame wall fires and greatly increases the pressure within the cylinder. And what can happen is the pressure can get so great that little pockets of fuel can just spontaneously ignite all over the piston. Shown here by my neat little star things. This is pre-ignition. The gas is lighting on fire before the flame wall from the spark plug. It's a bad thing and it causes a lot of uneven pressure and forces within the cylinder which leads to engine knocking because all those forces are vibrating and pushing things around and making little metallic pings. The engine knocking is the symptom of the problem of pre-ignition. Clear? Okay, yeah, I think so. So to solve this problem, you have to reduce the pressure within the cylinder. If you have a turbo or supercharged car, you can simply just reduce the amount of boost. But in a naturally aspirated car, you can't change the compression ratio. So instead what you do is you retard the timing, which basically means that the spark plug fires later. And what happens when the spark plug fires later is the cylinder's already kind of on its way down when the flame wall reaches its peak. So it reduces the peak pressure within the cylinder. Now this does mean less performance, but it ensures that the pressures within the cylinder never get high enough to spontaneously 
combust the gasoline and cause pre-ignition. Right, so quick recap. High compression ratios mean higher pressures within the cylinders. Higher pressures within the cylinders are more likely to spontaneously ignite the gas, which is why you need higher octane gas to prevent that. The same argument also works with turbochargers and superchargers. The turbochargers and superchargers compress the gas into the cylinder, so the starting pressure is already quite a bit higher. So then it gets compressed, and if your octane rating isn't high enough, it will cause pre-ignition and you'll get engine knock. All right, this one's quick. As always, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments, and I will see you guys around.